Hey guys, just doing a quick aquaponics update here. And if you've ever wondered if you can grow okra in an aquaponics system, well, the resounding answer is yes. Especially in conditions that are less favorable for other things, like I've been having 100 degree days here in Florida. Look at that nice blossom, and that's pretty neat looking. I got a ton of them on here too. I mean, this thing has been throwing out okra like a machine. Um, one of the things that has probably helped it out, so let me back up a little bit so you can see how tall it is. I mean, it's I'm getting up there. I'm six foot three. I'm reaching above my head, you know, a good foot. Of course, it's five foot off the, or four foot off the ground. But anyways, one thing I've been doing is adding a little bit of potassium to the system because I know it was losing that. And I could probably actually use some manganese sulfate or otherwise known as Epsom salt. But things have really started to kick into gear a little bit since I've done that. Um, I'm not noticing really any of the deficiencies. Now this basil is looking a little yellow, but that's because I took it out of from one bed and moved it to another. With the extreme heat, it's been stressed. But let me show you these peppers over here. This pepper plant, it's really, I've noticed since I've been putting a little potassium in it, that thing has just started producing peppers like crazy, you know. And like I say, if you look in here, you can see the some okra there, a bunch of little pieces of okra. I'm going to have a ton on it. And I've already been pulling. There's another one over there. I just pulled a bunch off here the other day. So uh, one thing about adding potassium to it, um, one thing it will do, it's going to raise your pH. Um, but that's okay, especially, you know, in aquaponics, generally speaking, you ha people have a trouble trying to keep the pH up. I haven't ran into that because the water I top it off with has a pretty high pH as it is, but um, it'll drop down kind of quick. And when I add the potassium to it, it does bump it up. So if you're having problem buffering your pH up, you know, why not try adding a little bit of potassium? It's going to help, especially blooming plants. Definitely, I've noticed it's definitely going to help those out. Um, everything else in here, you know, it's not doing too great. These are some old tomato plants that I kind of threw off of of pieces and they were really getting some deficiency they're kind of coming around but you know like I say the heat I've been getting it's I'm surprised even alive uh, these here are a couple of actually clones I'm starting and I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video um, how easy it really is to clone a plant using the aquaponic system now I got those from a hydroponic setup I have and I plan on putting them back in there right now and kind of putting it inside the house which I'll make another video to show you guys about a little little thing I got set up in the house there for growing tomatoes when it's sun temperature outside you know 100 degrees or more but anyways that's just a quick update hey really appreciate you watching look forward to your input you know go ahead and subscribe or like this video um, if you do like it um, and you know subscribe get some more content coming up there and just leave some feedback I'd love to hear what you guys think uh, anyways if you have any questions just leave them thanks a lot have a great one bye